Hi everybody! Thanks for watching. Katie here from the Beverly Public Library and welcome back to the Quarantine Kitchen. You know, when I said in the How to Make Your Own Bread tutorial that if you didn't have flour the recipe wasn't for you, I meant it as a joke, but the stores seem to hear that and think, that sounds like a great idea, and now there's no flour to be had anywhere, and now it sounds like I was teasing, which I wasn't. So, to make it up to you, I thought I'd show you a few desserts and sweets that you can make without any flour. Now, what I mean by no flour is we're not going to be getting into any gluten-free flour alternatives like almond flour or quinoa flour or rice flour. My reasoning for that is that the folks who need the gluten-free alternatives really need them. It's not an optional thing, and so I figured I'm not going to go and buy up things that I don't need that other people do need. So what I mean by flour-free recipes um, is recipes that just don't call for flour. So today we're going to be making um, one of my favorite recipes, no-bake cookies, or as they're known in my family, oatmeal fudgies. Now, a couple notes before we get started. First, if you are not feeling well, you should not be making food for other people. You should be in bed feeling better. Second note, uh, this is um, a slightly tricky recipe. It might take a couple of tries to get it just right. Um, one thing that makes it tricky is that when these puppies start to cook, they things move pretty quickly. So I would recommend that you have everything you're going to need set out before you start. And by that I mean have all of your ingredients measured out, ready to go, and also have some uh, baking sheets or cooling racks prepared with some wax paper laid over top. You're also going to want a towel or a, a hot pad or something like that um, ready, and you're also going to need two spoons. So those are the things I would recommend you have set out before we say the word go. All right, go. So you are going to need a big pot like this. You're going to take two cups of sugar, add it right to the pot. To that, you are going to add a quarter cup of cocoa and take a spoon or a whisk and just mix those two up so that they're nice and incorporated. And when you start to choke on the dust that forms, no, <laughs> but at least you're choking on dust that smells really, really good. Okay. <clears throat> Cover your cough. Uh, next, you are going to take a half cup of milk, very carefully, and you're going to add it to your bowl, and you're going to take one stick of butter or margarine, you do you, nobody's judging you, it's your kitchen, and you're going to plop it right in there. And then we're going to take this over to the stove and start cooking. Okay, so we are about to get cooking here, and things are about to get cooking. So. I've put my dog upstairs behind a baby gate so that she can't, you know, jump on me during this. And if my phone rings, it's going to go to voicemail. And if my house catches on fire, I'm going to leave and get my dog out and call 911 because, like, that's not worth it. But you see what I'm saying. Once this starts cooking, it's going to really start cooking. So we're going to turn the element on to about medium high. And you're going to watch this really closely. Your butter is going to start to melt, which is beautiful. It's going to start to smell delightful. And what you are going to want to do here is you are going to want to actually bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, you're going to let it boil for three minutes but we will cross that bridge when we get there. In the meantime, we're just gonna be watching the butter slowly melt. 
and enjoy the aromas coming off of here. And as I'm stirring, I can feel the sugar crystals dissolving a little bit. And once that happens, I'm actually going to cut back on stirring it. Because if you stir it too much at this point, you can wind up with a really gummy result. Now, you might want them to be gummy, and if you do, by all means, enjoy. This is your life. This is your quarantine kitchen. Um, for my part, I like them to have more of a fudgy texture. So I'm gonna stir minimally. And as you can probably see, it's starting to bubble a little bit in the corners. When that does, I'm just gonna stir it around a little bit. We don't want it to burn, but we do want it to come to a boil. The butter's melting down. It's smelling ambrosial and I can see the first few bubbles starting to happen in the center all right it's showtime it's really starting to seethe and bubble. It's looking good. You're going to boil, once it really starts to boil, I'll, I'll tell you when it really starts to boil. When it really starts to boil, you are going to set your timer for three minutes and you are going to let it boil vigorously for three minutes. And it is now boiling vigorously. So I'm gonna set a timer for three minutes and we're gonna do this. I'm mostly just monitoring it at this point. I'm using my nose to make sure it's still smelling good. I'm using my eyes to watch for signs that it needs to be stirred. And mostly I'm just letting it do its thing at this point. When I scrape the spoon along the bottom, I'm feeling for signs that it is sticking to the bottom. And so far I have not felt it sticking, which is perfect. All right, so we're down to the one minute mark. So I'm going to gather close to me my other ingredients. Two cups of oats a quarter cup of peanut butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla are all ready to go. All right, so it's been three minutes. I'm gonna add two cups of oats, and at this point you are going to get a workout because you wanna be stir, stir, stirring. Except right now, you're gonna take a quick break to add a quarter cup of peanut butter. Get in there. Stir, 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 stir. Give it all you've got. Let it get in there. You're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla and it's gonna go plop, 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 plop. Okay, that was a little bit of a letdown, but. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now, when are these done? So, see how they are coming? It is taking a while to creep back into center. That is a really good sign. Now, what you're watching for, you're watching the sides. You're watching for it to start to solidify on the sides. And when you start to see it solidify on the sides, that is when you are good to spoon these out. Oop. And once these are ready to spoon out, you wanna get them spooned out relatively quickly because these can solidify pretty fast. 
and they're there. On your towel, you have your sheets ready. You're gonna get your spoon out of there. And you are going to gather up as big of a gob as you want and just glog it down there. Yes, glog. It's a verb now, glog it down there. It's gonna be great. And just make them whatever size you want. It makes as many cookies as you want it to make. It just depends on how big the globs are on the sheet. So. Also, a word of caution, try not to touch the sides of your pot, because your pot's very warm right now. And I got these off the stove in the nick of time, perhaps actually a little, I may have hesitated a little too long, because can you see how they're crumbling a little bit? So these are a little drier than I'd like them to be, but they are still going to be delicious. All right, so as you can see, it got a little crumbly there, but the rest of these are going to be perfect. If I had taken it off, maybe 10 seconds earlier, I would have been able to get that last one out and get it into the shape I want. Now, you're gonna let these cool completely. And by completely, I really mean completely because you will burn your face off if you try to eat one of these right now. And I love you and I don't want that to happen. So really try to resist, let them cool completely, and then go to town on your no bake cookies, or if you want to be like me, your oatmeal fudgies. If you liked this video and you try this recipe, recipe, please take a picture and share it uh, on social media. Tag us. All of our information is in the description box below. And I hope that you liked this video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.